Look, Tutlo Tot, Tutlo Totling, or whatever the fuck they're calling it, is. Maybe, maybe it will 52x. We'll see. No, why are they so? Why are they like this? Why are they like this? Tote, tote, you don't even understand that. Who would have watched that rubbish video of yours? Stephanie would, nonstop. probably wants me to do AI art for her after the ski book maybe if I feel like it look I'm just gonna start treating this like uh, because she's so annoying I'm gonna start treat Jess was never this annoying also uh, um, I want to point out like new stripper friends I'm trying to make are all that bullshit really I'm um, you know the most chillest ones who are the most game and are gonna like be the most legal about it but I guess I could look If I gotta spend a few hundred bucks to fill out a situation and then walk away from it, I'd rather do that a few times to find the ones that are like super game, so I can like party hardcore, than not. Um, I believe she has James O'Keefe or something like that stalking me. And everyone knows what James O'Keefe does to investigate people. Which is why I would use my face on those apps a few times to piss Tiffany off and then say, No, no, I can't do anything. I'm married and all that bullshit. Especially on April Fool's. The other bullshit I was actually really mad about. I'm actually really, really, really mad about. Um... I got the bigger one. You're not supposed to put elbows on the table, but you can't tell me what to do. Look at me, I'm Raggedy Ann. D. That's what I meant to say. Raggedy Ann D. I had to think of his name for a minute. It was Raggedy Ann and Raggedy Andy. Look at me, I'm Raggedy Andy. Fighting the wolf. So watch that shit as a kid. That's probably some weird voodoo spell. Anyways, so. You want to know why I was saying all that? You better not go on whatever. Because she's going to do whatever the fuck she wants to anyways. She's just like Pi. Oh yeah, oh hold on, before I go into that. New friend, I'm totally your consultant. If you need help, hit me up. I'm a, The less you tell me about certain things, the more I can help you. But... This is why I say... Pi, just from Seville, was a dying British stripper. A distant second to Jess, but still miles ahead of the competition, would be Asha. And I say distant because Jess has a, now Jess is like my age. So she's got like 12 years on Asha. Anyways, so, um... But Jess figured out early on that just getting the money ain't enough. Because then you got to spend that money on bullshit. And then you got to do all that shit again, right? So Jess farmed dudes. Jess was a man-eater. That's why Jess didn't like that she couldn't control me. No matter how. She was like, 
All the dudes I know who are successful nerds and all that bullshit, they obsess about me. Why aren't you obsess about me? And I was like, oh, I'm just rocking out to punk music and bitches come over all the time to film porn and pick up smoky things and all that bullshit. So you're welcome to chill and stay and hang out if you want to. You're my favorite. But as soon as you leave, one of these other bitches is going to jump on it. And she didn't like that very much. Especially because she was the one who was supposed to be controlling and all that bullshit. Anyways, so, just basically figured it out that going places and being a sugar baby is more trouble than it's worth. So what she started doing was what I call like sugar dating maybe. Because she was like, no, I've only got like four or five really successful guys, but like I'll like rotate through them for a few months. And she would like go to, I didn't pay that, I bet that bitch actually paid my bills and I didn't like it, but like I had to pay some bills sometimes, so I would let her. I guess what these bitches call going on tour, Jess would just go to like Tampa or like Fort Lauderdale in the winter time. Then she would go to Las Vegas. Then she would go to LA. Then she would come back to Seville, because Seville's got an airport. And then she would get it all out of her system, she would say, and detox, have me plow her. And then she would go back to Florida and come back. But it was just it was just those ones. And she even told me she was like kind of stringing those guys along because she was waiting for me to become successful enough to like afford her lifestyle. And I was like, go marry that dentist. Bless his heart. He wanted to talk to me. I don't know why. He wanted to, like, she called me up one time randomly. And like, she was like, uh, my husband wants to talk to you. And I was like, why? And she was like, uh, he wants to make friends with you. I told him about you. And I was like, do you still talk about me all the time? She's like, no, all the time. And he wanted to like get to know me and all that bullshit. And I was like, uh, it's kind of awkward, but you seem like a nice guy. Just take care of her and all that bullshit. Then she started to put on weight. That's what I'm I mean, but like the good kind of weight, because now she's a mom. She's got like a bunch of kids and all that bullshit. Anyways, so Ashra figured out that pretty fast, allegedly. Which is why I think she got so mad at Tiffany. Because she was like, my free ride is over. No, all I had to do was fold the clothes and clean the dishes. No. I even told Asha, I was like, you know, we don't have to have sex. Like, you just, you seem like you're just in a tough spot in life and you just need a hand. I'll help you get your citizenship and make sure you get your degree. And she was like, okay, we don't have to have sex. And she would just like lie down with the lube and her ass sticking out with like, she would do her hair. She would go to the hairstylist and come back with like pink hair, green hair, you know, blonde hair, all that shit in a kimono. And she's like, she was like, we don't have to have sex in the kimono with the blonde hair and like the lube right next to her ass. I was like, okay, well, if you want to, then that's fine. But anyways, so. I'm I'll get it later I'll get it later I'm going back to the way I used to do shit all the time which is how I did shit back in Centerville Charlottesville I went to don't worry about it this to the, the store Centerville is where I was involved in that international CIA they were afraid of us thingamajiggy Seville is where I went to kind of like detox and get away from it all and I got pulled into it more crazy because that's where like the billionaire baron of Virginia lives at and all that crazy ass bull allegedly <sighs> Bullshit 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 You know me Mila Kunis is exactly what they say about when they mean by pretty privilege I'm sure that bitch is a lot involved in this shit, too. She's hot as fuck Goddamn Mila Kunis and you play World of Warcraft, why couldn't you be my soulmate? Why do I have the stupid rap whore? Doesn't even play video games.
Anyways, look, I used to tell Jess all the time, no, you can't do that. And she would do it anyways, and then come back later in a bikini and like demand I take her to the beach and like massage her and like kiss her. And then we would go back to my place and all that bullshit. I was fine with that. But then Jess would be like, oh, now you have to do this. So, so then she would try to kick it up a notch. And I was like, no. Like, the reason why I would let Jess pay my bills and then I would plow her at the beach or uh, after the beach was because she's hot. And I needed to get my bills paid. Um, but when she, like, tried to move in with me, when I started to become successful, and I was like, no. We're not doing that. That's because of all that other bullshit. There was a line I wasn't going to cross with her because she was that time or type of girl, not that type of girl, right? Oh, you know, you're, I'm not judging you, and I'll fuck you hardcore. Yeah, thanks for the training, but I'm not going to marry you. That's how it is in the world. And it, it, for some reason, in our society, women want that out of a dude. They want the dude who can run through the bitches, but will settle for them because... You know, I'll teach you all the tricks. You just have to have the babies. And if you get mad at me, you better not get mad at me too much or I'm going to fuck those bitches again. That's how they like it. I didn't make the rules. I figured it out that way and I started doing it that way. Anyways. So. You can do any fucking shit you want to do. You can be in any play you want to be in. You can be in any fucking rap horror song you want to be in. I'm done playing this game. You were like, no, you have to prove to me soulmate bullshit. I was like, fine, I'll cut all the other bitches out and tell them that they have to wait because I'm going to soulmate with this bitch. Because that's what I did tell you when I was drunk in 2018. And you keep fucking reminding me about that. And you keep throwing it in my fucking face. But you can't throw it in my face anymore because I did my part. I stood... I walked, I talked the talk while I was wasted, and then I walked the walk while I was sober. I walked the line, and you ran away. You stole money, and you went to be a rap whore. So I'm absolved of any of this bullshit. As a matter of fact, the other bitches think it makes me look better now. Because I talked the talk, and then walked the walk. Because I went through with it, and you didn't. I'm absolved of all of your bullshittery. Go do your thing, Majiggy. I don't give a fuck. As soon as I get my shit together, I'm fucking another bitch. I've already kind of been doing it. I'm just busy. That's what I did when I was fucking Jess. Or whatever the fuck. When I was with Pi and all that bullshit. Maybe I'm a little shy and prude because I was raised as a Mormon and all that bullshit. But I wise up pretty fucking fast and I know what works and I know what doesn't work. And guess what? Having the ability to get paid a bunch of money legally, legitly, that way if people are getting arrested, you're not getting arrested, is in my opinion, one of those things called if you keep yourself, um, um, what's it, oh fuck. If you limit yourself by choice, you're, fr you're more free by default. I limit my my associations to a point. Oh, the certain bitch you want to honestly you want to know why I haven't bought your shit for a while because I stopped buying your shit when the Tate started promoting your shit because they steal people's money. The Tate's got arrested. Certain bitch is not really involved in all that bullshit. Okay, I'll buy your shit again. It's actually pretty cool and it works. Same thing just with Stephanie. Why is Stephanie involved with all this rap war bullshit? Go, go be in your play. That's more time for me to, to do all my all my other shit. If you want to show up, if you show up, I would, I would, I would finish what I started. The moment you told me that you made overskin about me, and I li and then I actually l listened to it all the way through. I was like, damn, that bitch is sauced up. She is ready now. It's probably all your other handlers and all that bullshit. I don't give a fuck at this point in time. Two fucking years of you wasting my time two fucking years not even pie was as much of a cunt you take the cunt crown you are the cuntitude queen your ass needs to calm down and fix this shit fast